Hi everybody, welcome to True Wants. We're here, we try to help you make that decision if it's gonna change from a want to a need. If you are new to my channel, I really hope you will choose to subscribe. It's free and it's easy. It's the red button that's right underneath this video. If you press it and it turns gray, you're in. It's that simple. There's also a bell that's beside that subscribe button and I recommend that you press it. It's called the notification bell and what ends up happening is YouTube will send you one email notifying you that I just uploaded a brand new video. You will see in your inbox the picture and the title of the video and if you press on the picture it will act like a shortcut and it will take you directly to the video. It's something I use and I enjoy and it's something I want to make sure that you guys know about it as well because I do upload a lot and I don't want you guys to miss out because sometimes I do tell you guys about deals. All right, today is uh, an unexpected box uh, and I'll explain it all to you as I go along. I did receive the uh, Boxy Charm Lux box today. I wasn't expecting it uh, for a couple of days and it just arrived. So that's a good thing because I still haven't received any tracking or any information on the premiums. So you've already seen the base box on my channel and this is uh, th that was from my newer account because I wanted to have a base box on my channel uh, when I got my Lux because on my regular account before I had a channel I did subscribe to, to BoxyCharm and uh, I got the upgrade. So during the months, which is quarterly, where you get to the opportunity to upgrade to the Lux, which is another $25 on top of the $25 Lux, uh, sorry, base box price, that's what happens during the Lux month. So this is my regular account, this is my Lux box, and I'm so excited to share with you what's in here. All right, I do open up my boxes prior to filming, and today uh, it ended, uh, and I always take a picture, sorry, on Instagram. And uh, before I film to make sure everything that's in the box should be in the box, what's on the card, that there is a card. And then we take it from there. Ironically, there was another item in this box that uh, was, and I'm going to share that with you guys when we get there. It was the Pearly's BB Cream. And in this box, my regular account, I got it in medium. But I'll go through that when we get there. So let's get through all this. It's called the... Um, Boxy Charm Oasis and my number is 51 with a heart. Okay, so it's starting off with uh, which was one of the sneak peeks uh, that they were saying everybody was going to get in their box. I did not receive this in my base box. I'm receiving it in my Lux, so I'm very happy about it. It is a foaming face wash from Kylie Skin. It comes in this full retail box as well as this beautiful bottle as well. I got introduced to this foaming cleanser, not by uh, Kylie, but from Elemis in a previous BoxyCharm box, and I am using it literally twice a day, and I've had it now for over a month, and it is what I reach for every day, and I'm really enjoying it. So the fact that we are now going to have her formula also in a foam, I'm really excited to have the opportunity to try it. So let's read what they wrote about it on the card. They're saying this is a luxurious foaming face wash. It's infused with ultra-nourishing kiwi seed oil. It's packed with vitamin C and E to help maintain moisture and improve the elasticity. And it's a gentle formula which cleanses skin by helping to remove dirt, oil, and makeup for a fresh, bright complexion. And they're saying this is a $24 value. I will try it uh, with my full face makeup, but I find I usually like to take off my makeup with uh, micellular water and then uh, a cleansing cloth, and then I go in for my uh, deeper clean with uh, a product, but I will see how this does. Uh, I might have to use it twice, but I'm gonna see if it takes off the makeup. So excited to have an opportunity to try that. The next item was the one I started talking to you guys about. It is from the Pearlise uh, brand. It is their BB cream. And I have not been disappointed in any product that we have received from any of my boxes from per, uh, Perlisse or Perlisse. Uh, I've really enjoyed it. I also love BB creams, especially in the summertime. For years, uh, with Tarte Cosmetics, it's gotta be at least 10 years, I've been using their BB cream, and then what I do is I put on over it my It Cosmetics uh, Celebration Foundation, and I'm out the door like in seconds. It's, it's really one, two, three, and it's fast. And I started wearing when we, I haven't gone out of the house uh, uh, that much, and when I have, um, I put on the mask and I was curious to see with the BB cream if there'd be any transfer and with the Celebration Foundation and there really wasn't a lot so I was really impressed with that. So 
this morning when I got up, it's a little bit later in the day now, um, I wanted to try the BB cream from Pearly Say. I didn't think I was going to be getting any boxes today, so I wanted to try some new makeup. And this one um, that I received, I received in the medium tan, which is this one here. And the name uh, of the, uh, it says medium tan down there. And I wrote to them, and the email that I got back was very boilerplate. Boiler plate. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what I, I went back in and I double checked my complexion um, a quiz that they give you in the front of the uh, BoxyCharm and it was all blank for some reason in my uh, base area which I double checked that in my regular account and it was blank there too which I thought was really weird. So I redid and made sure that they both said medium and everything was fine and I always whatever I put in one I put the exact same information in the other. Anyways, long story short, this uh, medium tan is what I put on my face today so that I can test it uh, because that's what I got. And I wasn't, I didn't think I was going to get it also in uh, this box here. So, And then I put the Celebration Foundation over it. And so far, it's been fantastic. Uh, the color is fine. I was able to fade it out a little bit. And like I mentioned in my previous video, I was going to put one of my lighter uh, foundations that are powder over it and this one is in medium I have medium beige and medium tan on the it cosmetics and then uh, I have also the sample size of the medium so I showed you in that previous so if you want to check my boxy charm base box for June I swatched everything and I showed you the difference between the the medium and the uh, medium tan in that video and if you want to see any of my videos there, if you look underneath this video where it says True Wants in bold letters, if you press on that, it brings up every video that I've ever done and you just have to type into the search bar what you're looking for and that video will pop right up. This here uh, I got in my regular account in Medium. So like I said, I put the same thing in both and I know a couple of the girls have already, and thank you so much for leaving in the comments, that you knew, they knew that they sent you really the wrong color because I think maybe your quiz said like light or fair and you end up getting deep or tan. So they gave you a $12 credit. Uh, with me, they didn't do that because I think they just assumed it was the right color. So happy I got the medium, testing out the medium tan today and uh, so far so good. I think it looks fine, but when I watch this video back, I'll see how it looked on camera because like I said, I'm testing a bunch of things today on my face. Uh, because I wasn't expecting to film. All right, the next item that we got was from Lily Lashes, and that was my pick. And I'm so, um, I really, I tried a long, long time ago, and I should try again, um, false eyelashes. I think they look stunning on everyone who I watch, and it, I find it makes a big transformation on your face when you wear, you know, lashes versus just mascara. But I remember trying it out a long time ago once and I found them very heavy on my eyes and it just, I found it very disturbing. And then I saw some girls who wear glasses and it was like hitting their glasses. So I get the lashes in the boxes and I put them aside in a drawer and one day I'm going to try them again. I promised myself that because I really love the look of them on a lot of people. But Lily Lashes gets fantastic reviews on her uh, false eyelashes. So I was really excited to have the opportunity now that she's going into mascara. And uh, when the box came really early, uh, it, I didn't have any of my mascara on yet because I was going to test out um, a new one that I received. I think it was the Kevin O'Quan. And so at that point when the doorbell rang, I said, you know what, this is in the box, let me try it. And I'm impressed. I have uh, put it on. Um, they It lengthened very nicely right away. And it also, um, after the second coat, it gave me some of the volume. So, and it went on really nicely. And sometimes these type of brushes are the ones that I always really enjoy because they feel luxurious. They don't poke at me. A lot of times the plastic brushes like in benefits uh, products they do work the product and the formula work but there's something about that brush that I always seem to poke myself and this one I found it to be uh, luxurious to use so really really impressed with it so happy that that is in the box so this one here is from Lily Lashes it's called the triple X mascara it's an ultra lengthening ultra volumizing uh, extra bold mascara with a tapered dual fiber wand that defines and coats each and every lash with an ultra black velvety smooth formula. I agree with that. The formula was very smooth. It didn't go on in clumps. 
it went on very smooth. It gave me the volume that I wanted in the first. And then when I do that, I go to the next eye, do it. And then I go back for the second coat to hopefully give it then the volume because it gives it time to dry. And it did everything that I expected it to do. So very, very happy with this. And this is a $24 value. The next item that I got is one that I already owned and enjoy. And it is the Tardius Pro. You can see it's got the finger marks and I'll open her up for you. And I will swatch this at the end, but this is loved. Uh, the um, full size uh, one that I got in this box, which everyone who I think was getting Lux was getting this. So this will be put aside for a future video. And um, what I'm excited to do about that, what I mean by that is it's a giveaway as long as in my box that I have that my friends and family don't say, oh, that's something I want. But I think I'm going to put this one really aside because a lot of people either love or hate Tarte. And I know uh, there was some issue during one summer, no, it was a, a Christmas time that I tried some Tarte products that they made and I was so disappointed in all of the stuff that I bought over Christmas time and it was a couple of years ago. Last Christmas, not so much because I think they understood that you cannot do massive volume and change your formulas during Christmas time to fill the volume so you can get the price point that you want. Because a lot of people try the products for the first time during those sales. And there was such a difference in the consistency of the product, I think it really turned a lot of people off on Tarte's products. This Tardius Pro and the Tardius Pro mix fantastic, fantastic eyeshadow palettes. What I do scream from the rafters about in reference to Tarte are their Amazonian clay blushes. I put them on first thing in the morning. I can fly and, and, and be, you know, at the airport, do a trade show, get back to the, you know, hotel room at the end of the day, and my makeup and blush looks like as if I just woke up and put it on. So I really am a strong believer in the tardiest uh, products as well as their Amazonian clay. So I will swatch this at the end of the video, but I will give you guys uh, a peek of what it looks like inside here. Um, this one here is mine so it looks a little loved and I will go through everything about it with you and like I said I'll swatch it all and the entire top part is is a full mirror so it is really fantastic when you take it traveling as well so what they wrote in reference to uh, this product it is uh, prepare for an expression of explosion being a passionate about pigment its sequel of the OG pro palette come to play this rich vibrant 20 shade superstar was formulated to celebrate all forms of art and expression. It's ready to rock your world and remix yourself. And this is a $49 value. So if this was something you always wanted, this box is a $49 box and everything else you can look at it as you got it for free. The next item was a second pick that we got to do, which I thought was really interesting. So when I chose the Lily Lash Mascara, I had an opportunity to choose a, a couple of different items and what I chose for myself was this Hallmark uh, Collectibles and it, it came in this bag and it's this beautiful, beautiful uh, silk pillowcase and it came with uh, an eye uh, sleeping mask which I think is really luxurious. It feels fantastic. I've never slept on a, a silk pillowcase so I'm having a, an excitement to be able to try that tonight for the first time. The, uh, what they wrote on this, they're saying it is a non-absorbent fabric that reduces hair tangling uh, and skin friction for the ultimate beauty sleep. The set includes one standard satin pillowcase with a matching satin eye mask, and that on its own is a $50 value. So really happy to have gotten that. The next item is from Billion, Billion Dollar Brows, and it's this item here. And this is... and. He seems to do a lot with this brand, and this is a charcoal brush set. They're saying the bristles are infused with a charcoal for an antimicrobial effect. They're saying it's vegan, and it's charcoal infused uh, in the bristles. Those are all the brushes that are inside here, and I will show you guys what they look like right here. They all came with little plastic shields on them, and they feel soft to the touch. Uh, and uh, I'm going to uh, read about it and see what they're saying about these brushes. So this one here, they're saying this whole kit that's in this box is a $55 value. They're saying they are vegan, cruelty-free, they're synthetic. There's going to be five pieces in this brush set. We mentioned that they're charcoal infused, and uh, it's saying it will give you a flawless makeup and eyeshadow application. So it looks like we got two face brushes. Uh, it doesn't say on here any number. It just, this one says powder brush. This one says uh, 
contour brush, and usually those have an angle, so those are what those two look like here. Then we got um, a flat shader brush, which this one just says eyeshadow brush, and then this one here says uh, highlighter brush. Sorry, I should show you what the bristles look like. And then this is the shader. And then the last one here looks like just a large shader brush, and they're saying this is a concealer brush. So we'll be testing these out and seeing what they're all about. Uh, excited to get it because this Billion Dollar Brow is a company that BoxyCharm continues to choose to promote. All right, the next item in here is from a brand that I've been seeing on um, a couple of unboxings, and I'm really intrigued about it. Uh, and I think my niece, who's now living in the UK, sent me a picture that she just picked this up from Space and K, which is uh, a store down uh, in the UK. And this one here is called Malin Gotez. It's a recovering treatment oil. And they're saying this is a, a botanical oil treatment which absorbs quickly to nourish skin and help improve appearance of lines and wrinkles. It has evening primrose, it has argon oil and a jojoba oil, and it helps boost hydration. It has grapeseed and rosehip oils which will deliver vitamin C and E to help improve your skin tone. They're saying it is an oil which will help balance your skin and it's suitable for all skin types. And they're saying this is an $82 value. Wow. Okay, so just gonna open her up and put a little bit on the other hand because I'm gonna be swatching on my other hand. So it is a, an oil, so you're gonna see it run a little bit here. I don't smell anything to it, but my skin just drank it in. Wow. And I'm not a huge lover of oils because I'm a girl who um, is, is a combo girl. So whenever I do use oils, it would be at nighttime and uh, I use very little, but this went in really, really uh, quickly and my hand just feels smooth and, and so do my fingertips. So that's unbelievable. So excited to give that a try. And then the last item that I got in here was from a company called uh, Bodyography, which this is the box here. And inside this box, there were two liners. And I'm just going to read what it says about these here. And it says these are antioxidant lip pencils that glide on like your favorite lipstick with precise pigment, rich color to frame, fill in, and define your lips. It's enriched with coconut oil and vitamin E, and they're saying these two together are $28 in value. The first one is in rosewood, which is this color here. And I I enjoy, I wanna make sure it's not where the oils were. I enjoy, um, not when I'm traveling. When I'm traveling, I like the auto uh, ones because I always seem to forget a sharpener, always. No matter how many times I put a sharpener in my travel bag, it always disappears somehow. Then this one here, the second one is in the color Pouty. And um, I know that uh, the makeup artists like these type of, first of all, it's very smooth. Um, they like these type of pencils because every time you use it and then if you sharpen it, you're actually cleaning the, the pencil and it, it just it's like a fresher um, after they they um, they sharpen it they're saying they can use it again on another client so there we go there so that lighter one is the uh, pouty and then the darker one is rosewood so really really pleased with that I'll show you guys again up close that's what they look like there perfect okay so now let's get into the tardiest pro and uh, we'll do some swatches just in case other people didn't show you. This whole section here is a full size mirror and it is a really good mirror. The, um, see if I can do this, so I can show you a couple things about this palette because I have had the opportunity to really enjoy it. Um, there is a very, very little fallout on this, if any. The, uh, it stays on your eyelids uh, throughout the day, no creasing. You can wear it with primer, without primer. Like I'm telling you, this is one of their better, better palettes. And I'm so happy this is so many people are gonna have the opportunity to try this. And if you can tell, what they did was along the, the lines, it kind of helps you if you're new to makeup. This will go all over your lid. This is your transition, this deepens up, and then this is your outer. And then you can top it off with a little bit of a shimmer in the middle. So you can go right across each. 
and then as you get more comfortable with makeup you start going all around and choosing what you want to choose so for me today I did my all-over lid to set my primer I then did the transition and I deepened up my transition right after it and then I went down here because I'm in love with this Movi burgundy uh, just before brown type of color and I've been enjoying this color so much and then I deepened up a little bit on my um, my liner line uh, with the deeper and then I put a little bit of black in uh, the corner and then I started because I was playing I didn't like I said think I was going to be filming today and then I'm testing out a new eyeliner and some new lip products and I was really impressed I mean it's like I said a little later in the day and everything has stayed as if I, I just put it on first thing so let's do some swatches all right so the first one here that they call classic is the all over but this top row to me is an absolute absolute winner so these are like your standard every palette should have colors and these are the ones that no matter if I don't know what I'm going to be wearing that day and I just want to put some makeup on those are the standard colors that I always use I do have a wet facial wipe here that's not that wet um, but I'm going to try to take it off and then do the uh, dry towel right afterwards so I should have showed you it was classic innocent whimsy and then smoked then the next ones are vintage fierce no filter and vamp that's what those look like here then the next row okay is chic profess mod and drama that's what they look like there really really pretty and then the final row before we do the shimmers that are in the round circles on the other side is indie bold uh, edgy and punk so this is the deepest black that's in there but as you can see there were lighter almost charcoal blacks which a lot of brands look at this black a lot of brands their blacks are what those charcoal ones look like this is the tardiest pros black and that's what i mean by if you've been disappointed in any tart palettes before trust me this one will will change your mind on tart and this is what tart uh is and what they used to all be about so let me just um try to clean off my fingers with a really bad non-wet wipe that i had out here and i thought it was i put it out here and it uh it has already had its time okay so that's here all right so we're gonna do let me just dry my fingers off now here's the four that are in this circle you have ethereal glam I think it's uh, remix if I'm sorry it's minx and then trendy there's a, a shadow and a glare on this palette and that's what those look like there look at these colors so I'm just gonna do them right down the side here so you'll get to see them and those are all there so look even at that last one it already has the duochrome and this palette has been around so they were ahead of the time in reference to those duochromes and to me this is a staple in anybody's wardrobe uh, for cosmetics to make sure that you have a lot of your tones you have some warms you have your cools you have a majority of matte and then you have your satins and then you have a little bit of your shimmers that are just satin shimmers they're nothing that's gonna fall out they're not glitters or anything like that so really really impressed with this palette and I am so happy that so many people because they have such a strong following boxycharm that you guys are gonna have the opportunity to try this so if you're putting it aside saying oh I don't like Tarte trust me if you haven't tried this it is one to definitely try all right so once again, my box is number 51 with a heart. It is called the Oasis. This was my Lux box and I think it is fantastic. I have no repeats, so I'm gonna have the opportunity to really try a lot of these products except for the one that I knew was gonna be in here. So I do have a repeat, so which means that's, that's good news for you guys. But for me, I'm gonna have an opportunity to try and give you guys my feedback 
in reference to a lot of these products. So really happy to have that opportunity. And it's always exciting during the Lux months. And now that I get the base box, and like I said, the only item that was the same was the BB cream, but it was in a different color. And this one's in the medium. So I'm having the opportunity to try a medium tan, which hopefully uh, during the summertime, if I do ever get back outside, I'll get a little bit of color. Uh, but I think I did okay with it even without uh, getting a bit more color on my face. So we'll see. All right. Once again, everybody, if you are enjoying my content, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Supposedly that is so important on the YouTube platform. It enables me that YouTube helps me get my channel in front of other people that haven't had the opportunity to meet me yet or subscribe. So they like this type of content. They just haven't found me on this large platform. So if you have a moment, it's right underneath this video. If you can give me a thumbs up, that is great. As well as you guys, if you're enjoying my content, just give me a thumbs up. Also, it, I just found out uh, through one of my uh, very loyal followers, Ashley. Hi, Ashley. She comments almost on, if not all, every single video. And uh, she's very, very good to our beauty community because the few times that I've had an opportunity to go on a couple of lives most recently, she was in there and she welcomed me into the chat. So thank you again for that. But she also mentioned to me that there is a separate button that's right next to where the likes are that is a share button. And I never even knew what that was. So I'm going to ask you guys to share the videos because then that also gets in front of other people and it's a link that you can choose to share it through Facebook, through email, through Pinterest, through whoever you like you, your followers and your people that you are in touch with. That share button does that as well and I didn't even know about it. So thank you Ashley for that. All right. Once again, everybody. I appreciate so much that you take some time out of your day to spend it with me here. I hope I give you some more information that you guys maybe didn't know about. I also enjoy so much when you share your comments with me because that's my lifeline to you guys. So please share if you've used any of these products and what your take is on it because the same way that I'm sharing with you here in front of the camera, we also share in the comments so that we get to learn from each other. So thank you all for doing that as well. All right. Once again, everybody, the most important thing is everybody to continue to stay safe and stay well, and I'll see you all in my next video. Take care, and bye-bye for now.